might have a what do you call it? I dropped up on the ledge. Or just killed off all these and I need something to replace it. So he moves in here with five banshees and six uh Vikings. I'm a terror bad player and don't move my queens. Then I uh remember I have a four crawler back here and it detects stuff because they're awesome. I think the range for detecting is for I don't know, it's a lot longer than their sight range. Which is really nice. And he wants to take off a few links. I'm okay with that. And he's just sitting here. I mean Meanwhile I've been getting uh passenger land and an infestation pitch so that I can effectively deal with this unit composition. Because if Saren wants to, he can just destroy all of your overlords and eviscerate your air. Anything that you're doing in air. Because he can just outproduce you so easily. So I move my queens up here and just do a little bit of damage. I am able to take out one of these Vikings. Do quite a bit of damage on a few others. And he just has a few stuff, a few things back there. And he's not upgrading. And I have plus one care pace. So I thought he was might have been or might have been doing a tank push. So I wanted to be able to use my lings against him. But when he didn't have tanks, I was oh, uh, oh well, whatever. Now he's gonna send out an SUV to perish some of the stuff. And I mean, smart play still. But I mean, after a while, you need to change your unit composition. Because if I know your unit composition and you don't know what mine will be entirely, I mean, he still hasn't scouted this corner. And that's where my infestation pit is and my spire. And so he still doesn't know I have a spire. And so he just goes, oh, well, uh, hmm. So a lot of times, another reaction is spire along with that layer. And I still don't have Baneling speed, but I mean, Banelings do so well versus Marines, it doesn't even matter. I mean, he's just throwing more and more banshees in here. He walks on the creeps so I see his entire army. I uh, see the little ripples right there. And I know that he's clicked banshees in that still. And so I just fungal growth it. And let my queens just start attacking. And I fungal growth it again. And again. And voila. There goes his entire army. And queens are OP, so they can heal each other and then kill the rest of the marines. Pretty easy to mop up. Um, as you can see, I'm floating a lot, a lot of minerals. I mean, this game is not a great example of macro. It's just how to hold off fairly weird pushes. I mean, at this point, he needs to expand it have been expanded, otherwise he's just falling behind. He has not seen this third base yet. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Because otherwise, I mean, I can just help macro and run down his front door. Which is always fun to do. If they don't raise that supply depot. I'm just spreading creep tumors because I like creep. I run my links and just watch tower and see his entire army. So I decide I can take that out and move my uh, seven investors up. Just try and take it out. Meanwhile, he sees my links and pushes up. I pull him back and fungal growth of marines. And yeah, I go ahead and move forward and do it again. Take out the rest of his marines because. It only takes two fun growth to take out a pack of marines. And uh, with the increased damage and lessened time for the thing, it's a lot easier to do massive amounts of damage. Previously what I'd used them for is to hold them in place while I use my queens to take out cloaked stuff. I mean, he's still 
still just producing marines and banshees and hellions. But he's running out of minerals. 140 left on this. He hasn't... I mean... I assume that push is what uh, made him go up this high in the ladder. Because most of their probably don't know how to deal with it effectively. And lose probably their natural and maybe a building or two in their main. I mean, I've seen this push so many times, it's not even funny. So I decide, okay, let's push. Uh, right now I have plus two carapace, and I'm just now getting plus one melee. And so he's going to be a douchebag here, and flies buildings around the map. Thankfully I have a spire. And here, I'm just going to speed this up. Ooh, and my, uh, what do you call it? Quality of my videos is going to be a lot better now because I, uh, changed some settings on how I do this. So it's a lot more effective, you could say. And so he's just making stuff around the map. I fly around with 17 mutilists and go down here and pick off this factory, this starport, and then this last starport. I mean, he had a nice push, but I mean, he didn't make much out of it, so he couldn't really do anything. He should have expanded at least once, if not twice, because he did have me contained for quite a while. But, uh, good game.